Hey amazing creatives, it's time for a new video and today I am working with paint pens. So I'm on a bit of a quest at the moment and it's a two pronged quest. One is to find the perfect paint pen, <laughs> I'm not sure it exists, but yes I'm trying to find the perfect paint pen but I'm also trying to get just better at using paint pens. So a lot of you know I love using pens and I use them a lot for sketching, in my art journal, all sorts of places. Oh and if you want to know what my favourite pens are at the moment, just generally for my work, I did do a video for it for my patrons over on Patreon. Hey patrons, big wave! So yes, I love using pens and I sketch a lot, but when it comes to paint pens I still haven't really found one that I'm comfortable with put it like that and I'm not sure if it's my fault or the pen or a mix of both so I'm really trying to push through it and get some really good use out of the pens that I have but I've also gone and been a bit naughty and bought myself some new pens so today what I'm trying is the Molotow pens and these are a new one to me I have not used these ones before because well basically they've they're quite expensive I've found them quite expensive and it's only recently that I've found some places that do them at a range that I'm happy to pay for so if you're interested in these pens shop around for them obviously I'll put the link to the place I got them from below in the description so do go and check that out but yeah always shop around because also I mean it depends on your where you are in the world as well as to how expensive these things can be but I usually always I usually link to Amazon as well to give you some more choices for getting these sorts of things anyway that's that's an aside so yes today I am using these pens and I've got some great techniques to try so the first technique I tried that you saw me doing was pressing out the pen onto my palette then adding water to my page with a brush and then flicking the pen and watching it spread so flicking the pen and the paint going everywhere and where it touches the water you get some really fun spread of the colour so yeah that's just a bit of a fun technique to have a go at and you can see it really well when I use this absolutely gorgeous blue this one's called petrol blue and I think this might be my favourite coloured pen that I've got so far but as you guys know I'm Bit, bit of a sucker for blues and teals. <laughs> so I'm kind of just doing a background here while I'm using different techniques with water, the brush, flicking the pen and seeing how I can get the paint and the colour just to spread and see what kind of textures I can get. Now I've tried this with other paints so you know usual like heavy body paints, soft body paints, all sorts of different acrylics, I've done it with watercolours, the whole lot but I've not yet actually done this with my paint pens so this is just another way you can use them. I don't even know why I tried to use them like this today it was just one of those random things and I just thought well let's just go for it just get some paint onto the paper and see what happens no real sort of view behind this piece no plan for it I just wanted to just play <laughs> I say that a lot don't I? I just wanted to play but yeah that's all I wanted to do and when you get new products that's kind of the best way to do it is just mess about with them see how they're gonna work see if the techniques that you already use with other products will transfer to them also see if you can get some new looks with them and that's what I like to do when I get a new item to add to my stash if you've been using paint pens for a while now then you've probably already gotten used to the fact that you have to give them a really 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 good shake before using them because sometimes the pigment can kind of settle out of solution so you'll get a separation of the liquid and the pigment so if you give it a good shake and there's a little ball in there as well and let that sort of run up and down and after a while you'll you'll get the pen sort of like nicely working so if your pen sort of like isn't working so well then just try giving it a really good shake and sometimes when I forget to do this it's really noticeable and these pens are quite good because there's kind of a little window where you can see through and you can kind of see if the liquid has separated from the pigment but even so even if it looks nicely suspended you should still give it a really good shake 
So these pens come in all different nib sizes and I've, I'm trying out a couple here. So I've got a two millimeter one, which is kind of like a round bullet. And if you're used to paint pens, then you'll be very used to that kind of size. And I've also got a 1.5 millimeter tip. And this one's a little different. It's, it still looks like a bullet, but it's a kind of a different material to it and it's a little bit more scratchy when it goes on. If you've ever used some of the Sharpie pens then you might know what I mean because some of those had that very similar sort of scratchy tips. I mean when I say scratchy I don't want to put you off it's not <laughs> it's not a bad thing it's just the only way I can think to describe it and what can happen sometimes with those and I've found in the past uh, particularly yeah with the sharpies and with some of these as well with the the smaller nibs is that that scratchiness means that when you run it over a textured paper so any paper that's more fibrous surface then you might get a little bit of spitting from the tip and sometimes that can look really good so some people will get fed up with that and not want it but some people like that because it adds a lovely texture so it kind of just depends on what kind of look you want to get and the other pen that I'm trying here, the white and the black, they both come in a one millimeter, really extra fine as well. So I've bought the one millimeter for the white because I'm always trying to find a really good white pen, as we all are, aren't we? So I'm using the white version of that today as well. So if you have a look, that yellow one, which is called Vanilla Pastel, that one is a 1.5. And then when I use the white one, it's called Signal White, and that's a one millimeter. But again, you know, I'll put all the details of this down in the description. So if you want to find them, you'll find them there. And I just went into major doodle mode for this. I just thought, well, I will just, I had no plan, as I said, I just went for it. Put in some shapes, put in some mark making. And I was only really videoing this on the off chance that I would share it. So, you know, sometimes I just video things and you know, they may not come into, they may not turn into videos, but this one did because I actually quite liked the way it turned out and I hope you do as well. And also I really liked using the pens in this way, particularly that background. I'd not tried that before, as I said, and it's well worth having a go with that and seeing what kind of backgrounds you get, particularly if you're like me and you love all that kind of drip background. And I really love using my acrylic paints to give watercolour backgrounds. And the reason for this, and why I particularly like using acrylic paints to do this, is because then they're, they're just so easy to layer on top of. So you can, you can get the best of both worlds, can't you? You can get the beautiful watercolour effects and then keep layering on top. Whereas if you're using watercolour paint to do that, you layer on top and it, it, can, it can be a problem because the, the watercolour layers will just keep working with whatever you put on top. Whereas the acrylic ones, nope, they'll just stay put. So that's why I like working with these kind of things like this. Don't really know where the bird came from. <laughs> they, it just sort of appeared and there was something about that really long beak that just made me think of a bird. So, and you know, if you've been watching my Instagram and my patrons know as well, I've been really enjoying doing bird sketches at the moment. I've got to do some more of those. So yeah, the bird just had to appear. <laughs> but I, I think it's a fantasy bird. I don't think it's a real bird. <laughs> and you'll be able to see her a little bit better when I do the close up at the end. So the first thoughts about using these pens for the first time and yeah, I really like them. I still I don't know what it is about paint pens. I'm still not 100% sold on them. I just think I need to use them more and you know work out what my issue is. I just I like using fine line markers and the paint paint pens never live up to fine my line markers and I don't know why I feel that they should. <laughs> and it's obviously an issue I've got, but I just want to be able to draw in paint and lots of lovely colors. I mean, we all do, don't we? <laughs> But I'm, I'm really enjoying these and I will definitely use them some more. 
and I hope you've enjoyed watching that as well and getting some ideas and different ways that you can use your pens. You know, you don't have to just use them for drawing, although, you know, I am looking for the perfect one to draw, but you can also use them to make some really gorgeous backgrounds and just another way of adding paint and colour and texture onto your pieces. Thanks so much for dropping in today, I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be wonderful, thank you, and I'll be sharing some more arty fun with you very soon. Have a lovely creative day.